Right, that is shut off. Let's see what's in this core. Maybe we'll actually be able to turn everything off. These scrolls contain records of core yields and processing efficiency. Boring. Yep, sounds boring. surprised. signs of life. To wake it, you poke and prod it with your finger, but you have no luck. It has been completely depleted of nutrients. You will need to feed it to have any chance of waking it up. Well, I guess it's a good thing we didn't, uh, go through, we didn't really go through that, um, that horrible, horrible shape or tomb. So let's feed the jar of nutrients we have to the servant. It is a slow, messy job. The creature starts out completely immobile. You need to scoop the food into its mouth, one tiny globule at a time. Eventually, you are able to revive it enough for it to eat on its own. Finally, it speaks. Its voice is weak, but you are able to understand it. Thank you, Shaper. I am mind Erwin. Oh, but I was in that terrible state. I could feel what was happening in the mind, but I could not affect it. The defenses attacked you. I am so sorry. That sort of thing must never happen. I shall be deactivated for my laziness. Please forgive me. I will forgive it. I will help you however I can. What do you know about the mine's defenses? I am completely in charge of them. Well, I was. I mean, I was supposed to be. I... I was, but not anymore. I can control them a little, but I am not strong enough to completely control them. What about the defenses just outside? The closer the pylons are, the better I can control them. I... Wait. The defense is just outside that attacked you? Yes. Well, this is terrible! Wait a moment. Done. The pylons in this area of the mine will no longer attack you. That, at least, I can be sure of. Oh, good. I am eager to serve you further, ship. Speak and I will obey. What about the defenses in other parts of the mine? The mine has three wings, west, north, and east. If I concentrate very hard, it will be painful to me, but I can subvert the pylons. However, right now, I am already concentrating on one of the wings. You, fir you must first give me permission to cease before I can deactivate another. Say the word, and I will turn off the defenses in one wing. So, we can only de turn off the defenses in one wing at a time. Lovely. Uh, leave them as they are for now. What was this mine for? I and the servials I directed brought forth minerals and crystals from the rock. The stone in this area has a pleasing natural magic concentration. It was very useful in the research of the Shaper. What sort of research do you know? Of course I know, Shaper. They described it to me so that I could pick out and process the correct minerals. I found the crystal to make their canisters. I purified the stone used to build the gene forge. And I maintained the processor machines. Tell me about the canisters. They were crystal cylinders which contained gene editing materials. I needed to find pure crystals without flaws to safely contain the potentially volatile substances within. Gene editing? What is a gene? That knowledge is beyond me. My master, Karata, described it as a tiny, tiny scroll inside all living things, which describes the purest form of their essence. I did not understand. But he did tell me that the Shapers here learned how to read that scroll and to rewrite it in a way pleasing to them. You 
you know about the Gene Forge? Of course. I know that it was a large stone basin, six feet across, which had to be made of the purest, strongest, most magically resonant stone. I also knew that it would be powered by several large and energetic stone spirals. No less, no less was necessary for an artifact of such power, and I know all the supplies for it had to be shipped north. But if you want to know exactly what it does, I am afraid that I cannot help. What is the process? There are several of them in these mines. You can place crystals in them, and they purify the crystals and process them into items. The eastern processor is currently set to produce missiles. The western is set to create wand, and the northern is set to produce weaponry. Well, the northern sounds more interesting. Uh, what can't you control? Because that wasn't mentioned. I am afraid that when I was left here, I was given several powerful hibernating creations. I was to awaken them when the mine was invaded. Then, a few months ago, the mine was invaded. What happened then? I was barely strong enough to awaken them, but I was far too weak to control them. They went rogue quickly. There are a few in this area, and some very strong rogues in the north mines. They are young and strong and completely, well, bad. But they are also dumb. If you do not want to slay them, you might be able to slip around them. And we already slain them. One more thing. Do you know anything about why Susie Island was abandoned? Well, one day Karata came to me and told me Susie Island was going to be abandoned. Who was Karata? One of the three leading shapers on Susie. Karata was in charge of supplies and administration. Dethniel took care of the school and training, and Annette directed research. All of their offices were in the main facility to the north. Surely they are all dead now. Very sad. Well, he seemed confident that there would be some political maneuvering, and then Susia Island would be unbarred. But to be honest, I do not think that happened. The departure was very hectic. Most people left most of their goods behind because there was little time to pack and because they believed they would be back. Dorado was clear on one thing, though. He wanted to make sure all the mine's defenses were up and strong. Why? I don't know. He did say something... He did say he left something important in the North Mines, though. Some sort of paspaton for the main research area. Don't know anything more than that. I am sorry, Shaper. Really? A paspaton to the main research area? That, I think, is something we can use. That's all for now. Thanks. Okay, let me see if I can grab this. Ow. Ow. Ow, ow, okay, we're fine. We're fine. Besides, we can heal up right here. No, that's not the heal. Although we did need the essence. Ah, precious healing goo. There we go, we're all strong now. A little more as touch. We're good. Good. And all the defenses here are shut off. And we now know that there is actually a way in through the north. There is actually something up in the north. And the defenses here are all shut off. We really need it. And it seems like we can't really go up into the north. At least not. Wait a minute. Oh, those are shut off now. Oh. No, no, I didn't mean... like we actually have to walk through all the mines in order to get anywhere. And if we're to uh, deactivate one, the others will be activated. So I think what we should do is go into the north mines. So what I think we're going to do is servant mine and have him deactivate the defenses in the north mines. We'll probably have to kill those two. We'll probably have to destroy those two uh, pylons, but once we do that, 
Everything should be fine. I wish we didn't have to march through everything like this. Oh, ugh, it's annoying. Oh well, let's go speak to him and have him do that. Besides, we've already taken care of every other pylon that's in this goddamn area. So... Turn off the defenses in the north wing. Closes its eyes. The look of great discomfort appears on its face. The effort of concentration is really painful for it. It is Van Shaper. You will now be able to move safely in the northern mines, if you can evade the rogues. And we're not gonna evade the rogues. Besides, there's something up there that we need. Probably gonna have to go to turrets up there. And hopefully these, uh... are still off. Huh. Interesting. Well, that's the end of that. We'll run out there in just a few moments. We've pretty much done everything we need there. We don't have to worry about the pylons in the north, thank God. And we're ready to go after the rogues and get the baton thing that's up there. So I'll end this here. I am Chester44, that is Elliot, not Stone Ivy, and I will see you all next time.